Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of No Time Wasted Learning Dark Table. And in this episode, we're going to address the RGB curve module. The RGB curve module is a module that gives the user a lot of creative flexibility. If for whatever reason you lack creativity, Darktable also gives you a couple of presets which you can find by clicking on this symbol. You have the option to choose between different contrast and gamma options. The mode can be changed from RGB linked channels to RGB independent channels. If you decide to stick with RGB linked channels, understand that you can use this curve to lighten or darken the color pixels. However, one funny thing this module can do is basically turn the RGB link channels into individual channels. You can do so by going to uniformly and then changing the blend mode to RGB red, RGB green or RGB blue channel. You do need a new instance for every change you make. So if you have worked on the RGB red channel, you'll need to create a new instance for the RGB green and another one for the RGB blue channel. The way this module is designed to work is to do it more easily by changing the mode from RGB link channels to RGB independent channels. Here you can change the channels individually without having to create a new instance for every channel that is being changed. In the red channel, moving the curve upwards will introduce more reds. Moving it downwards will decrease the red value and introduce blue. In the green channel, moving the curve upwards will introduce more greens. Moving it downwards will decrease the greens and introduce magenta. In the blue channel, moving the curve upwards will introduce more blues, but moving it downwards will decrease the blue value and introduce yellow. These two color pickers over here allow you to determine where the pixels are in the curve area. Selecting the first will allow you to choose a spot, but if you click Ctrl or Command on Mac and this color picker, it will allow you to select an area. The second color picker will show you where the pixels are in the curve, but if you use the control button or command on Mac and click it and then select an area, it will automatically change the curve for you. The interpolation methods can be changed from monotonic spline to cubic spline and centripetal spline. If you'd like to know the difference between all three, please see the links in the description. Another option you have is to compensate the middle gray point. Middle gray is a tone that is perceptually about halfway between black and white on a lightness scale. In photography and printing, it is typically defined as 18% reflectance in visible light. To make it easy, if it looks good, then don't turn it on. If the outcome doesn't look good, then turn it on. Preserve colors, this is something nobody can agree on online. Let's change the curve a bit and run through them. What I find is that none leaves the saturation out of play. The luminance makes the colors more vibrant. Let me showcase you the other options. To be fair, my knowledge on the preserve colors and what they do is too limited. That's why my advice to you is just do whatever looks good, because that's what it's all about. Using your imagination and creativity to get to an end product. And that's it. I hope you guys like it. If you want to see more of me, click that playlist over there. And if you haven't subscribed already, I've got a button for that over there as well. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. And until next time, doei!